The 2017 FIFA U20 World Cup was the 21st edition of the FIFA U20 World Cup, the biennial international men's youth football championship contested by the under-20 national teams of the member associations of FIFA, since its inception in 1977 as the FIFA World Youth Championship. The tournament was hosted by South Korea from 20 May to the 11th of June 2017, along with Canada, Chile, Japan, and Mexico. South Korea became the fifth nation to have hosted all of FIFA men's international competitions, namely the 2002 FIFA World Cup, the 2001 FIFA Confederations Cup, and the 2007 FIFA U17 World Cup. The South Korean FA originally placed a request of hosting the tournament away from the traditional June-July period, as it would clash with South Korea's rainy season, as well as any possible national team selection should they qualified for the Confederations Cup. Serbia, the 2015 champions, were not able to defend their title as they failed to reach the final round of the UEFA qualifying tournament. In doing so, they became the fifth consecutive incumbent title holder to fail to qualify for the subsequent tournament. England won their first FIFA U20 World Cup title after beating Venezuela 1–0 in the final via a goal from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. <laughs> Host selection Along with asking member associations whether it wished to host the Under-20, Under-17 or the Beach Soccer World Cup in 2017 along with women's tournaments a year previous, a declaration of interest would need to have been sent by 15 May 2013. A total of 12 countries submitted a bid to host the tournament by the May 2013 deadline. The final decision on who would be hosts were made as part of FIFA's Executive Committee meetings in Brazil on 5 December 2013 with Korea Republic being awarded the hosting rights. Qualified teams A total of 24 teams qualified for the final tournament. In addition to South Korea who qualified automatically as hosts, the other 23 teams qualified from six separate continental competitions. Starting from 2017, the Oceania Football Confederation received an additional slot in total two, while UEFA will have five instead of six slots. Venues <inaudible> <inaudible> Cheonan, Daejeon, Incheon, Seogwaipo, Junju and Suwon were the six cities chosen to host the competition from a short list of nine, with Seoul, Poang, and Ulsan not chosen. Preparation As part of preparations for the U-20 World Cup, the 2016 Suwon JS Cup, an international football-friendly tournament, was held to prepare the host organizers. Organization The following were key milestones in the organization of the tournament. The match schedule was announced by FIFA on 23 November 2015. Former South Korean internationals Ahn Young Hwan and Park Ji Sung were appointed as the ambassadors of the tournament. The official emblem, slogan, "'Trigger the Fever' and look of the tournament were unveiled on 16 June 2016. The official mascot, Chaomi, was unveiled on 25 August 2016. Details of the volunteer program, which was launched on 1 November 2016, was released on 18 October 2016. The official posters were released on 27 October 2016. Venue package tickets went on sale on 1 November 2016, while general ticket sales began on 2 January 2017. All-out ticket sales kicked off on 16 March 2017. NCT Dream were appointed as local organizing committee ambassadors, and were also chosen to sing the official song of the tournament, "'Trigger the Fever". Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Draw. The draw was held on the 15th of March 2017, 1500 KST UTC plus 9 at the Suwon Atrium in Suwon, South Korea. Two Argentine players who have won the FIFA U20 World Cup, Diego Maradona and Pablo Aymar, participated in the draw. Minho Choi from the South Korean idol group Shiny also participated in the draw. The 24 teams were drawn into six groups of four teams, with host South Korea being allocated to position A1. The teams were seeded into their respective pots based on their results in the last five FIFA U20 World Cups more recent tournaments weighted more heavily, with bonus points awarded to confederation champions. Teams from the same confederation could not be drawn against each other for the group stage. <laughs> <laughs> Match officials A total of 22 refereeing trios a referee and two assistant referees, five support referees, and 21 video assistant referees were appointed for the tournament. This was the first FIFA underage tournament which uses the video assistant referee. Squads <laughs> 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 Each team had to name a preliminary squad of 35 players. From the preliminary squad, the team had to name a final squad of 21 players, three of whom must be goalkeepers by the FIFA deadline. Players in the final squad could be replaced due to serious injury up to 24 hours prior to kickoff of the team's first match. The squads were announced by FIFA on the 11th of May 2017. Group stage The top two teams of each group and the four best third-placed teams advanced to the round of 16. All times are local, KST UTC plus 9. <inaudible> Tiebreakers The rankings of teams in each group were determined as follows Regulations Article 17. 7 If two or more teams were equal on the basis of the above three criteria, their rankings were determined as followed. <laughs> group A <laughs> Group B Topic Group C Topic Group D Topic Group E Topic Group F Topic Ranking of third placed teams The four best teams among those ranked third are determined as follows Regulations Article seventeen eight Topic Knockout Stage In the knockout stage, if a match was level at the end of normal playing time, extra time was played two periods of 15 minutes each and followed, if necessary, by a penalty shootout to determine the winner. However, for the third place match, no extra time was played and the winner was determined by kicks from the penalty mark. In the round of 16, the four third placed teams were matched with the winners of groups A, B, C, and D. The specific match-ups involving the third-placed teams depend on which four third-placed teams qualified for the round of 16. Bracket Round of 16 Quarter-finals <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Topic: Semi-finals. Topic: Third place playoff. Topic: Final. This was the first ever final for both England and Venezuela in the history of the tournament, in their 11th and 2nd appearances respectively. England's previous best result was in 1993 when they finished third, while Venezuela were eliminated in the round of 16 in 2009. This was England's first appearance and victory in the final of a global football tournament since their senior side's 1966 FIFA World Cup victory, ending 51 years of waiting for a global tournament trophy. Topic: <laughs> Awards. The following awards were given at the conclusion of the tournament. They were all sponsored by Adidas. Topic: Goal scorers. Five goals. Four goals. Three goals. Two goals. One goal. One own goal. Source: FIFA. Topic: Final ranking. As per statistical convention in football, matches decided in extra time are counted as wins and losses, while matches decided by penalty shootouts are counted as draws. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Broadcasters' rights. The following companies held the broadcasters' rights: South Korea, KBS, MBC, SBS. Argentina – TYC Sports Brazil – Sport TV – Reed Bandeirantes Canada – TSN – Ardiz India – Sony 6 – Only match between South Korea and Guinea Indonesia – RTV – Four matches in semi-finals, third place match, and final Japan – BS Fuji – Fuji TV 1-2 next Malaysia – Astro Mexico – Televisor, TDN, TV Azteca New Zealand – Sky Sport Paraguay – Tigo Sports Peru – Latina Television Philippines – ABS-CBN Poland – Eurosport South America – DIRECTV Taiwan – ELTA-TV four matches in semi-finals, third place match, and final United Kingdom Eurosport BBC final only United States Fox Sports Telemundo Venezuela Direct TV Meridiano Television Venevision Vietnam VTV FPT Group <laughs>